Hello everybody out there. Sorry it's a little windy out here, but today we're going to talk about a true piece of German engineering. No, 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 not that. The ROM. Let's go ahead and try her out right quick. Ah uh, yes, the true quintessential Saturday night special. Ah yes, Saturday night special, the ROM. So the story with this pistol is we bought it here a few years ago and it was at an auction and I think we bought it for $26. Somebody had taken the grips off, put styrofoam on them, which we just threw together some quick oak grips on this. Had no front sight, the barrel was super, super loose. Uh, the paint was all worn off of it and so we painted it and uh yeah it's it's shooting pretty decently it shoots really really high with this uh homemade front sight it's made out of a half moon key and so i'm burying that front sight all the way down to the bottom of the the rear notch and i'm still hitting a little high so let's try that again here i'm gonna try to hit that dr pepper bottle you guys hmm. all right let me load this bad boy back up now the story behind the wrong is it was a post-world war ii pistol that was built whenever germany no longer had access to very good steel and so they made it with much cheaper material this very bulky, bulky frame. It's way high. This thing is super, super high. Yeah, see, like, I was aiming at the bottom and I know that that round went over the top. And as you can see, the fit and finish is not exactly what I would call ideal. We can get that to come back down. There we go. <laughs> so yay or nay, would you buy another one for 26 bucks? Oh yeah, all day long, all you day or day. Would you buy another one for 26 bucks? Now, we're having some issues with this thing. I'm going to 
kind of see. <laughs> now we got over here the Sodi Pop Gallows. And we even got a piece of the old VFW table screwed into the top up there. And let's see here. We got some targets. I think we're going to find some targets out here. Uh, I doubt if I can hit any of these with this thing. Let's go ahead and see if we can. Hey, a hit. Got that one. Barely. Got that one too. 38, these 38s are kind of cowboy loads. Yeah. These rounds there are not very hot at all. All right, so I don't know about these druids that put this thing up here, but evidently all, there must have been a bunch of millennials and uh, one old classic school, old school druid out here. Must have been one old school druid out here. He actually put a bone up. Let's see what this uh, 38 special, if I can hit it at this range, does to bone. It still hit way high. But it did cut all the way through it, and I managed to not hit the string, which is pretty impressive. You know, some people might even say that these pistols ain't good for nothing. Except for putting a man six feet in a hole. <laughs> yeah, um, at close ranges... That would not be fun at all. Let's do some more shooting. All right, so I'm gonna try to hit this spinner right here, and this is really a uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a fun shot considering we're in high wind, which is not blowing the bullet, but it's blowing my arm, and I'm shooting a pistol that I can't aim how I would like to. Clear over. I'm gonna end on that note. <laughs> I might try some of these other targets here, but uh, the long range, the long range gong. All right. Special. Now these grips, I do gotta say one thing about these. These are pretty special because the same uncle that uh that uh christened old blood letter, my AK, he cut this tree down and we made these grips out of them and they're just you know it's a uh, they're pretty good grips for an old Saturday night special. But uh yeah. So anyhow guys, uh kind of a cool little gun, especially for twenty six dollars. Uh that's about all I got to say about it. Keep your powder dry and thank you for watching.